What's happening? Hope you're having a great day or night. This is going to be a quick overview on plugin automation in Pro Tools, or how you can automate plugins in Pro Tools. Why would you want to do that? Well, for instance, I've got this little project here um, where I've automated the EQ. Sometimes dialogue is bass heavy in some parts, or it's lacking bass or lacking treble, but it's just in one section and you want to automate it. Or let's say you've got uh, an effect um, that you want to be more extreme in one area and less extreme in another, or say you want to automate a reverb and have it be dry in one area and and more wet in another, well, that's what you use automation for. So, um, let me just play this little section back. All your positions on my mark. Okay, I've got some automation going here on this, this VO here. If you watch my EQ. Hold your positions on my mark you see that I'm automating this section right here. Let's see, if I bypass, you'll hear the difference. Hold your positions on my mark. So you hear why I rolled off that bass there, to kind of keep the perspective. Hold your positions on my mark. Um, and I had to raise the volume of that because it was competing with all these other things. On my mark. So. How did I do this? Well, let's take a look. Um, I believe I'm automating this. Yes. Yes. Okay, so one little trick. If you hold down the keys, uh, Control and Command, I think I covered this in another tutorial, but when you have a plugin open, whatever parameter you click on while holding Control and Command, It'll, sh it'll bring up the, the automation lane here. So we can see uh, what it's controlling. So watch. Hold your positions on my mark. So I clicked over here. Um, I'm gonna, I'll undo it again. So I, I control, command, clicked here. And this is our automation here. So if I delete it, you're gonna see that this or this is no longer going to move. Hold your positions on my mark. Uh, I guess that was incorrect. Oh, right, because I must be automating this. So let's control, command, click that. Yep. So now, this whole section should not move. Hold your positions on my mark. All right. Well, let's, let's just get rid of that, and let's say we don't have any automation written for that. How do, how, do we, how do we write that? Well, what you're gonna wanna do is, there's two ways of doing this. If you hit Control, Option, and Command, and click on the parameter you want to enable, it'll bring up this little dialog called Enable Op Automation for Low Pass Frequency. Okay, see this little green light? So that means that this is automated. If you Control and Command and then click on it, it's gonna bring that automation lane up. And now you can either record this uh, by turning on touch mode and, and writing this, like moving this in real time, or you can just go over here and you can draw it in. So notice how this comes up. Hold your positions. Right? Um, let me show you the example of how you would ride that. So we turn on touch here and then in real time, as this plays back, we're gonna move this little little dial. Hold your positions on my see. mark. And see how it does that in real time? Pretty cool, right? Now another little trick is if you hit Control, Option, and Command, just like you would enable, you know, one little function here, like say we wanna enable this. That's cool, but what if we wanna just turn on all of it, we want to automate everything in the plugin. Well, if you hold down Control, Option, and Command and click this little button right here, it's going to enable everything. Pretty cool, right? So anything you move is going to uh, be able to write automation. Now, the reason this is all red 
is because we're in touch mode here. So th this is saying that if you move one of these buttons in real time, it's going to record what we re what we do. So watch, we'll hold your positions. On. We just moved the output. And if you notice, it didn't show up. So I hit Control and Command and clicked on it to show what we did. Now, if this automation was just on read, all of these parameters are going to, you're going to see these little green lights right up, which means that it's in read mode, meaning that if you move this fader back and forth, it's not going to write automation. It's just going to change the value. Does that make sense? Or if there's, you know, already automation uh, written, it's just going to read what we write. That's the real deal. Now, come on, let's keep See? moving. Okay. So that is how uh, you can automate a plugin. Uh, let me show you another example, just to make this all clear. And I'll just keep repeating it because it can be a, a bit much. Um, so we've got Futzbox here, right? Okay. So let's say we want to automate the effect of this. So let's just let's just go with um, I don't know. Let's automate this frequency. So. What are we going to do? We're going to hold down Control, Option, Command, and click on this little frequency knob and hit Enable Automation. Let's see if it, cool. So now if we move this, it's going to write uh, automation. But in order to do that, we've got to turn this touch mode on. Or we can Control, Command, click on it, and write it manually over here. So if we do this, it's going to change the frequency. Watch. Hold your positions on my mark. Okay, now let's do it the other way. Let's go to touch and move it. Hold your positions on my mark. See? And let's say we want to be able to automate everything in this plugin. You hold Control, Option, Command. Hit this, and it enables all everything. So if we're in touch mode, anything we move, it's going to record. Or you just control command, click on whatever you want to automate, and it shows it over here. Hope that makes sense. It's a couple commands, but the, the important thing to remember is you can either enable one function of a plugin for automation, or you can automate all of the functions by hitting this button. So you're going to use the same key commands, Control, Option, Command. Uh, here, let me disable this. Control, Option, Command, click on the individual thing, or Control, Option, Command, click on all. Um, and then you can either have this in touch mode and move the, the, the pots manually, or you leave it in read and you control command click whatever you want to draw if that makes sense so control command click on whatever function you want to write the automation on that can really 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 speed up your workflow um, once i saw that from another mixer it it changed the way i work and sped up my workflow immensely that way you're not you know trying to man you know that way you're not trying to find it in this dialog box down here. Um, it's just a really quick key command. And if you're on, you know, like some of the older icons, you could literally just touch whatever knob you wanted to show. Um, and it would, it would show the automation lane for that, that one pot. Anyway, um, I know that might be a bit much or it may not depending on your experience, but if you have any questions about it, uh, feel free to hit me up. Um, you can comment uh, down below with your question, and uh, if it was helpful to you, feel free to like and subscribe, and as always, I hope you have a really great one wherever you are. All right, take care.